Welcome back. So this time we will talk about how to set up the hypothesis test. So when you set up the set up each hypothesis test, uh, you will define the claim. That claim can be a null hypothesis test, or it also can be alternative hypothesis test. It is all depends on each statement. So look at this example. So write the claim as a mathematical sentence, state the null and alternative hypothesis, and identify which represent the claim. So number one case, a university publicized the proportion of its students who graduate in four years in is 82%. Okay, the first thing we have to do, we need to find out whether and this statement represents one tail test or two tail test. Like our last video, we talk about how to distinguish one tail or two tails. One tail case, the statement always includes inequality phrase such as less than or greater than, at least, and most, something like that. However, if it is two tail, then this one must include just maybe equal or is like that. Okay, the first of all, uh, does this sentence or statement include any inequality phrase? Yeah, maybe not. I don't even see anything like uh, less than, bigger than, or at least or at most like that. Instead, we only see this here. Therefore, now we know that this one indicates two-tail test. Okay? Now, because the statement include our claim. Now, is means, is means equal sign here. So, when we define this one, HO will be the proportion P equal to 0.82, right? Why HO is P equal to 0.82? Because null hypothesis always include equality. That's the reason. And this will be our claim then. Because the statement show that uh, this is our claim. Then what's HA? And proportion is not equal to 0.82, basically. So that's the hypothesis setting for is number one. Okay, then look at number two here. A water faucet manufacturer announced the mean flow rate of a certain type of faucet is less than 2.5 gallon per minute. So same situation. We need to see whether this statement include inequality phrase if it is then it will be one tail test later we also distinguish whether this will indicate left tail test or right tail test though but you have to find out whether this is the one tail or two tails so did you find it yes if you look at less than then you are awesome and then this one indicate one tail test right so what does less than means so less than means basically mu is smaller than now 2.5 gallons right so does this one include equal sign no therefore this one must be alternative our hypothesis and this is the claim, basically. Then what's HO? Yes. HO is opposite direction, but include equal sign. If alternative is less than, then null hypothesis, U must be greater than or equal to 2.5. Okay? Then last one here. Number three, a serial company advertise 
the mean weight of the contents of its 20 ounce cereal box is more than 20 ounces. Okay. Do you see any inequality fresh? Yeah, if you find if you find more than that's great. Okay, then now it is also one tail test here, right? Okay, then what does more than means? Yes, more than means mu is bigger than 20, right? Does it include equal sign again? No. So this is also H A and that's our claim. Then what's H O? Yes, H O must be mu is less than or equal to 20 here. Okay, so far so good. But now one more thing we need to do. So the first example we know that this is the two tail test. Why two tail? Because it doesn't have any inequality threads. We only show that equal or not equal. That's why it is clear. Just two tails. A number two case. Or number three case. They both one indicate one tail test here. Then which one indicate left tail test? Or right tail test? Do you remember which one determine types of one tail test? If you say HA, that's great. Okay? Now look at HA here. HA going toward left side here, right? If you get confused, then you may draw the arrow sign, then going left side here. So this becomes left tail test. Now, number three case, as you see this one going toward right tail, right side, so it becomes right tail test. Okay?